<laughs> it's been giving the boat a good clean since we got to Lanzarote. Clean the whole galley, clean the oven, clean the cooker, clean our bedroom, clean the floors, cleaning the outside of the boat, doing washing, getting there. And then we got drinks at six. We're gonna see Gary and Claire, uh, Alfie's uncle and auntie this evening, which would be great. <laughs> The old thing you see in its first piece of action in God knows how long. Five days, four or five days, two bags of rubbish, three people. Yeah, not I, too I reckon, bad. I reckon we can do better on the rubbish. Yeah. For example, like grate the cheese. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Put that in a big pot. I'm surprised I can't find the kill cord. We've got it. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> We're being organised. I think you guys sabotage me. <laughs> <laughs> Laundry day complete. Yeah. We are now heading over to Isla de Lobo. I think it's an uninhabited island just north of Future Ventura. Yeah. And then we'll be going to Future Ventura. Yeah. But we've had a great time here in Lanzarote. We've met Coru, Nomadis Denmark, your uncle and auntie, yeah. Gary and Claire. Took them out for a spin yesterday. Yeah. Washing done. Stu's had a nap on the trampoline. We caught him sunbathing, uh, trying to. Get a tan on them white oh, fires of his. <laughs> <laughs> it's still white. <laughs> <laughs> we got time, we got time. The swell's picked up, the wind's picked up, so we're gonna go over there now. Been there two days, we've got itchy feet, so, so we're going. No, that's new bites there. Yeah. That's a new one. Nice hat. Thanks. Thinning hair equals burnt head. <laughs> so I had to find myself a hat. Yeah. And one that keeps my head cool. This is quite a cool hat. Yeah. Because it keeps my head cool. And it doesn't fly off. Yeah, they almost lost it yesterday. Day one. Yeah. I suppose we should really give you an update on what we've been doing. Yeah, we should. Out of the wind. Maybe at the front. Hello guys, we are currently sailing along the south coast of Future Ventura. We left 
the med about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Stu, who you guys met last year, is now with us. So when we went to Lanzarote for a few days, met my auntie and uncle, they've just... Ah. He has loads of birds. It's off again. Yeah, the birds. The birds are getting the lure. So there's no fish in the Atlantic? No, they're all friggin' seagulls. <laughs> Oh. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. We're in Lanzarote. Lanzarote for a few days with my auntie and uncle. They've just brought a villa out there. And now we're basically heading to Gran Canaria. We've got a anchorage that we're going to for a couple of nights before we get to Las Palmas. But we are crossing the Atlantic with the Ark. A group of boats get together in Las Palmas and sail across the Atlantic together, really. But we're going to do the Arc Plus, which means that we stop off at Cape Verde first. So it should take about five to seven days to get there. Then I think we stay there for about a week and then go on the 19th of November to go to Grenada. Yeah, so it should be good fun. We're looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we're sailing nicely downwind, six knots over the ground. We are going to a little anchorage on the bottom of Future Ventura, which yeah. looks beautiful. It looks like it's got a lovely beach there. So the next couple of videos will be us arriving, I suppose, just about the Ark. And the reason why we chose to do it with the Ark was, well, one, we were meant to do it last year, um, so it was still a relatively new boat then, but we delayed it a year because of COVID. So. It just gave us that extra security. Yeah. And two, because of the rum punch parties. Free rum punch. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Um, they sound like they organise quite a few events and it's like it'd be nice to meet so many other people doing the same trip. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah it'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody has any questions about the art, let us know and we'll answer them. Right, do them right, even in a, in a blog or another video or whatever. And we do get a lot of people like asking about our boat buying journey. I know we've already sort of discussed it briefly, but they've asked us more questions in depth. If anybody else has any more questions, feel free to fire it over. Most people contact us on Instagram, but yeah. fire it over. We're more than happy to either do a video on it or discuss it with you. And we've also got, actually, an, our app. Your dad built us a, mm. app or a sailing cocoa app. Yeah. It's only on the app store at the moment, but hopefully by the time this is out, it's on Google Play as well. Yeah. It's just a bit of, bit of fun. You can track us. Track us. You can message us. Message us. YouTube, Instagram on there. We've got some recipes on there. Yeah. For a whiskey sour. But yeah, download it. We'll put the link somewhere. Yes, and you can track our journey as we cross the Atlantic. Yes, that'd be cool. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sitting on an edge here because I can see the gusts going up to 17 knots. So I'm going to go and sit by the wheel. I feel like a farmer. Right. We'll see you in a bit. See ya.
tight. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's Lovely. much better. <laughs> I was the weak link. Thank you. Gracias. We have to bring it all the way up there. <laughs> Round three. Right, you get in the back, I'll pull the front. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Okay. Yeah, one, two. <coughs> Listen, right, we're here till high tide, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anchor is so much better than being in a marina. Yeah, definitely. There she is. Amazing stew. Thank you. Hope it tastes good. <laughs> I'm 100% sure it will. 